Welcome back, adventurers, to some more Lord of the Rings Online. I am here next to Constable Underhill. We're gonna continue the prologue, so let's see what he has to say. Hello there! Toradan? Slain by Amdir? How is that possible? Seek out Constable Tangle Rush immediately. If Toradan's warning does not reach his kin, who is to know what devilry will ensue? Quickly now. Might I speak with you a moment? Poor Toradan. If his words are true, his kinsmen are in great danger. This Mundal he spoke of before he passed must be warned. Now, I don't know exactly where this mustering cave is, but if Toradan warned Constable Tangle Rush, then Tangle Rush must know its location. Tangle Rush is a constable in Staddle, down the road south of Combe. You will likely find her loitering about town center. Quickly, you must find her. Okay, so we're finally ready to move on to Staddle, which is cool. There's going to be some more quests over in that area we are progressing quite well i think in this region as always be sure you're watching this series in two times speed as with any other gameplay video you will thank me later i try to remind you guys about every five episodes or so for those of you who still haven't tried it it changed my life I watch a lot of gameplay videos as well, but my time is precious, as is yours, so I kind of like to keep things going and flowing. Alright, so who is this guy? A lovely day, isn't it? Okay, so that's the Hobbit Lolo Wedding Way. If you remember, there was a citizen in Combe who had kind of a business partnership with this guy. You say you've spoken to Burl Breeman? Oh, this is bad, very bad indeed. I had a good profitable arrangement with Beerman. I would purchase pipe weed from here in Staddle, bring it to Breeman in exchange for honey, and then use the honey to satisfy my outstanding contracts in Staddle. But as much as I would like to renew this arrangement, I am unable to do so at the moment. Unless maybe you could do something for me. Okay, so it's Beerman, not Breeman. Or just B Man. There's no R there. My font's way too small. Can I take a moment of your time? While I was trying to sell some of my wares to the farms east of Staddle, a bear got into my wagon here and made off with my pack. I expect to probably drag it out to eat my lunch. The problem is that my coin purse was in that pack, which means I can't buy pipeweed to trade to Burl. Worse, if I don't get it back within the next 15 minutes, I'm sure to miss out on the good prices of pipeweed in Staddle. You've got to find the bear that stole my pack and bring it back to me in the next 15 minutes, Kippen. Okay. So you can see this quest has a timer on it. So I'm actually going to do it right away. And I saw a bear around here somewhere. Okay, there's a few. So let me kill some of these. Okay, that one didn't have the pack. And neither did that one. We'll just continue killing bears here. There's plenty to go around. And there we go. Easy enough. How my do you pack. Do? You found it. And with time to spare it too. Take this as a token of my thanks, Kippen. Alright. Easy as that. And this Arnorian ruin here is going to signify we are entering into the town of Staddle. Pretty small little town, but it's got its fair share of problems, as you can see. Look at all these quest rings. Let me actually start over here with the epic. What can I do for you? Ho oh, there. What cause have you to be running around like that? Toradan is dead? That can't be. I saw him not too long ago. He had me deliver a message to his kinsmen at the cave across the Midgewater Marshes. When I went to deliver the message, I found the cave empty. I'm on duty now, or I'd make the journey across the marshes myself. Maybe you'd go instead? Follow the road out of Staddle, to the east, down the slope leading into the marshes. Cross straight through, but be careful, the Midgewater Marshes have become a dangerous place of late. Do your best to steer clear of the Marshwater Fort, at the heart of the marshes though. The cave is set at the foot of the tall hill, near the entrance to the Midgewater Pass. Okay. 
Might I take a moment of your time? The good folk of Stadl provide much of Breeland with fresh farmland and farm-grown food, and they have our thanks for it. Our captain in Bree has assigned my fellows and me to keep watch over this town. Recently, there's been an increase in the wild animals outside of Stadl. If we don't do something, one of the little folk is bound to be attacked on his way home from the fields, and the town will be in an uproar. Constable Bulger reported a large number of boars by his home southeast of here. His house is due south of the Widow Froghorn's farm. If you could take care of those boars, it would be of great help. Okay, let's talk to all these people. We're going to do all these quests here, of course. Could I take a moment of your time? Hoy there, do you know anything about dogs? Gar here has been feeling poorly since yesterday, and he won't eat a bite. I fetched him some fresh water from the well, and he just turns away. Maybe you could help me. Eldo Swatmidge knows a fair bit about animals, and he might have an idea about what's wrong with Gar. He lives quite a bit east of town, almost on the edge of the Midgewater Marshes, and I don't think Gar would be up for the walk. Just take the road east out of town to the Widow Fog Froghorn's farm, then north from there and down the hill to the east. Eldo is a bit of a queer sort, but he loves dogs, so he can't be that bad, right? I'd appreciate anything you could do to help Gat. Okay, stuck to these two fools. Man, this guy has a ton of quests. Could I speak with you a moment? Gammy Boggs, one of the older hobbits here in Staddle, keeps tabs on all the hobbits on the farms east of the town center. If you find yourself on the road east, look to the north at the second farm and you'll find Gammy, looking out over the rolling pipeweed farms. She's always got something to say to passersby and likely will want something done. Would you do something for me? I'm glad to see you. There are goblins in the Midgewater Marshes, or so it has been told. And if that's the case, we need to know how many we're dealing with. There are two sets of ruins in the southern expanse of the marshes. I would ask you to go to these ruins and defeat any goblins you find. If there are any goblins near both ruins, we'll have a better idea of how far they've spread. The first set of ruins is found southeast of Eldo Swatmidge's farm, east of Staddle. South of his home is a narrow stretch of land that extends into the marshes and runs right to the sunken stones. The Goblin Hole ruins are far to the east and south of these. When you're done, check in with Bill Mossfoot. He and another member of the Watch have taken up station out in the eastern marshes, just to the southeast of the Midgewater ruins. Would you do something for me? We might be close to dealing the goblins a decisive blow, Kippen. The only thing keeping them from fighting amongst themselves are their loyalty to the two chieftains that are rumored to lead them. Gurstaz and Guzrum. If you were to slay these two chieftains, I think the goblins would fall to squabbling among themselves. Such squabbling will leave them unable to mount an attack on Staddle. The two chieftains will be fairly close together somewhere in the goblin hole ruins, so that each of them can keep an eye on the other. You may need to gather help. Those chieftains will be the strongest of the lot. Would you do something for me? Everyone is talking about the goblins these days, but I'm worried about something other than the goblins. The sound of the Nikerbreakers in the Midgewater Marshes has gotten much louder recently. There are many more of them than there used to be. I'm sure of it. I'm afraid that before long, they will move out of the marshes and descend upon the town. If you could kill a few of them, you would be doing this town a great service. The Midgewater Marshes are east of Staddle, beyond Swamp Midge's farm. Okay, so it looks like there are a ton of problems to deal with in the marshes. Could I take a moment of your time? I've noticed my pipeweed field is rather less robust than it should be. At first, I suspected animals have gotten at it. We have some troubles with wolves ranging too near the town recently. But I don't think that is the answer. What would wolves want to do with pipeweed? I think that the Blackwold brigands are to blame, Kippen. Men have had a taste for pipeweed ever since we taught them the craft. And now, I fear these villains have been sneaking in after dark to pinch some of my most promising crop. Take this letter to Constable Bulger and ask him if he intends to do anything about it. You'll find him southeast of here on the outskirts of Staddle. He must do something. These men have gone these men have gone too far. Okay. And there's this little hobbit here as well. Hello there. Might 
I speak with you a moment? Excuse me a moment, but could I beg a favor of you? I have this work order for materials and labor over in the Bree community that I need delivered immediately to confirm our work dates with the purchaser. I know that this isn't much notice, but I can pay you well for your trouble. I just need you to take this to Non Henwood, over by the gates, the community a little way southeast of here. East of those old ruins. I can do that. Alright, let's begin questing. There are a ton of things to do here. I'm just going to follow my quest tracker for now. Start knocking these out. So yeah, the area of Staddle is really some of the richer farmlands here in Breed. There's just farms everywhere for the most part. So let's talk to the constable here. Is there something I can do for you? I don't know how many letters from Hemlock I can put up with, friend. We had better do something about the brigands that are stealing from his pipeweed crop before I get another. Please stay a moment. The Blackwolves have established a camp at Osbarinor, south and slightly west of here. I suspect they sneak out every night to steal pipeweed and produce. They are probably keeping Hemlock's pipeweed in a barrel somewhere within the ruins. If you can retrieve that barrel and bring it to Hemlock, perhaps you will spare me another one of his letters. Good luck, Hippin. I do not relish the idea of more correspondence with an angry Groose. Okay. So, this quest is taking me to the marsh. Let me actually bring this up. Um, and let me get rid of these marsh quests. And just kind of do the ones around here first. Okay. So, let's do that. Let's kill some of these boars. Let me see the map real quick, though. Let me go... Let me go to the south. And I'll just kill any pigs that I see along the way. Like right there. And maybe I'll take my stun of the tortoise off, because I do have a few quests that are around my level. And some of these enemies are closer to my level as well. So you know what, I'll do that. I'm kind of ready to start leveling again. Alright, so let me just drag this over. Oh my gosh, my inventory is like full everywhere. I really should clean these up in between episodes. Okay, just put that there. And there we go, should be getting experience again. Look at that. My first sign of experience, I got 40. I'll probably put the stone back on once I'm, I don't know, level 20 or so. That way I can go into the next season pretty fresh for the content over there. Because I think Lowlands, which is going to be the next season, kind of starts around level 20 or so. So maybe when I hit level 20, I'll stop leveling. A lot of boars around here, but I do need a good bunch of them. Need 10 total. Right. Let me go get that guy right there. And last one. Perfect. Let me go look for this stolen pipeweed. It looks like the Blackwold Brigands are going to be in this fort right here. Just need to find a way in. Guess let me go through here. There's a big crack in the wall. And there are some lookouts here. So I do need to be careful. Not that these guys are any match for me, of course. Just try to sneak around most of them. Hello, maybe that's where the pipe weed is. I don't know. We'll see. Who is that guy? Jasper Mudbottom. Let me see if there's any clue. Still in pipe weed. I'm actually at the wrong spot. 
Need to go a little bit more to the east. So I think that guy's for another quest. I'll come back and kill him later. And I see the barrel right there. Let me kill this lady. Alright. And now I can go talk to Gammy Boggs. Who kind of seems to be overseeing some of the farms here in Staddle. I guess here is the edge of the marsh. We'll definitely be heading in there for some quests later on. And we'll definitely come back to this lady as well. I remember there is a quest here. It may look like I'm skipping stuff, but I promise it's a 100% playthrough. Every quest, every deed, we'll get around to everything. Okay, so this is actually Eldo for the Ailing Hound quest. Does seem to like dogs. There's one right there. It's terrible. Just terrible. What? Gar is sick? Why, he came from one of my Winetta's litters. My own dogs occasionally eat something that doesn't set quite right with them. When they do, I've got a her herbal remedy that my grandfather taught me that helps clear it right up. I have most everything on hand, but I'll be needing fennel seeds to finish it up proper. Fennel seeds grow in the Midgewater marshes, but it's hard to find because of the Nika Breakers. They have a fancy for it. It might be easier to find a Nika Breaker that still has fennel caught in its pincers. Then, to find the fresh plant. Bring the seeds back to me, and I'll mix up a remedy for Gar. Okay. I'm sure it's a bother, but I could use your help. This is a fine farm, wouldn't you say? Yes, my life has been kind to me. My only regret is that I haven't had anyone to share it with. I think you might be able to help me, if you're of a mind. The Widow Froghorn lives up the hill to the west, and she's a fine lady, but she won't hear of me courting her. I've been sending letters to her for a while now, asking her to tea, to the dance, to watch over my dogs, but she refuses every time. Now, Widow Froghorn, Asphodel is her right name, is always needing help around her farm. Maybe if you lend her a hand saying a kind word about me now and then, she'll change her mind. Go west up the hill, then turn south by the fence at the top. Her farm is at the crossroads. Okay. Let me go get some of these seeds. Alright, I see some Nika Breakers here. There is a deed here in Breland to kill these. It's a Slayer deed, of course, and it's kind of an annoying one. Because these aren't the most concentrated things out here. And as you can see, I just got the deed bestowed to me. Right. Looks like I am not finding any of the seeds. I got one. Let's keep pushing on through. Just need one more seed. Oh, and yeah, really annoying thing about those guys is that sometimes they burrow and you gotta kind of have to wait for them to come back out. Before you can continue attacking. It seems like they're a lot more concentrated than I remember, though. There's a lot of them around here. Okay. So I killed all the ones I need, but I still need one more seed, so I'm going to keep killing them. guys are level 14 they're taking quite a while longer to kill than i usually take to kill enemies so it's nice to kind of be almost on level with the content again god these guys do not want to drop a seed and there he goes burrowing i 
And that will burn too, damn it. Dude, these guys do not want to drop a seed. Not at all. At least this is counting towards my Slayer deed. So it's not all bad. Although, seem to have run out of Nika Breakers around here. Maybe I should just continue a little bit to the west and do some of the other quests here in the marsh. That might not be a terrible idea. Okay, still nothing. Wow. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I think I'm going to do some of the marsh quests while I'm up here. Like killing some of the goblins, and I think the prologue is here as well. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look. There's going to be a quest ring over that way. There's also this ancient altar. Let me see what that's all about. I believe that is for a deed, if I am not mistaken. So let's read. An ancient uh, altar of Anorian construction upon which you can find evidence of recent activity. As if some rite or ritual had been held here. Alright, so let's use it. Yes, yeah, so this is History of the Dunedain. It's going to be a new deed. Cool. Once again, as a reminder, I do go over all the deeds for a region on the last episode of each season. So be sure to stick around for that. But for now, let me continue exploring the marsh here. Okay, I see some goblins. I do need to kill some of these, don't I? Pretty sure I do. I think it has to be at their specific forts, though, so that one didn't count for anything. Okay, maybe, maybe this guy will count, I don't know. Nope. Please give me that last seed. Come on, man. Nothing. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. None of these want to drop the seed. It's absolutely nuts. So let me go this way. And turn in this quest, I guess. There are some other guys here. Can I speak with you a moment? Hello there, enjoying, enjoying a nice stroll through the marshes? I don't meet too many folk that can stand the smell, or the bugs, or the damp, so it's always nice to meet Kindred Spirit. Say, hello, Snyken. Who's your good boy, then? The Nika Breaker in the cage responds only, when, only with an angry clicking sound. That was a nice, Snyken. I don't know what's gotten into you. He might be hungry. In fact, he might be needing his favorite food, sickle fly wings. If you kill a few of those greater sickle flies, you might find enough wings to satisfy Snicken. That might cheer him up. Okay. How can I be of service? Excellent, Kippen. It will be a while before the Nika Breaker population again grows to be a threat to Staddle. It is good to know that I can rely on you to deal with the dangers to the town that do not walk on two legs. Still, I fear for everyone. I fear everyone is so excited about the goblins that they've forgotten about the other dangers lurking in the marshes. There's another threat I would ask your assistance with. Stay a moment. The Midgewater Midgewater marshes hide many dangerous creatures, as you have seen, and I intend to make sure that all threats to the people of Staddle are addressed. I've heard the farmers complaining about finding particularly dead breed of spiders crawling into their fields. It seems that their presence is focused somewhere between the old Marshwater Fort and the Woods Woods Edge ruins in the marshes. They have overrun both these old ruins, and I worry that I worry about what might happen if they decide to come to Staddle in greater numbers. I would appreciate it if you would lessen the threat by killing a few of those dreadful creatures and their queen. Okay. So for now, let me continue over here. Goblin Hole ruins, so maybe these goblins will count. Towards my quest. There we go. Let me kill a few of these. Okay. And then I need to kill some at the sunken stone. But I think this is where the two chieftains are. So let me see if I can kill them. Oh, it's a 
sapper. This guy's crazy. Okay, let me kill some of those. Wow, one hit kill, man. That was awesome. And I think... No, that's a defender. It's not one of the chieftains. Is that one of them? No, it's a scout. Warrior. Pretty sure the chieftains are here, right? Unless I'm going crazy. There we go. There's one of them. Gersrum. Definitely be killing him. And another scout. Need to find the other chieftain, Gerstaz. Wherever he is. Don't really see him. Let me take another look around here. Hmm. Let me take a look at the map. Maybe up there. Oh, that's um, that's where I just came from. That quest ring. Okay. Where is this other chieftain? I don't see him. I think he's like on the outside of the fort. He's kind of hanging around the periphery, if I remember correctly. So, let me kind of go around. Hmm. There he is. Excellent. Right. That kills him. Perfect. Let me get rid of this guy. Okay, good. Guess let's talk to some of these guys, turn in some quests. Well done, Kippen. With these two dealt with, I think our immediate concerns for your Staddle will be closed. Return to watch your Redweed and Staddle and tell him of your success here. Will do. But first, where's that other little goblin camp? Sunken stones. Where is the sunken stones? Okay. South of the sunken stones. Hmm. Southeast of Eldo's farm. Which I think is... I don't know where his farm was. Whatever. Let me go towards the fort because I do have to kill some... Spiders there. And let me also get some sickle fly wings for that guy's pet Neeker Breaker. Oh no, the sickle fly slayer indeed. I forgot this one's even worse than the Neeker Breaker one. Right. Dude, come on, give me that uh, seed. Still nothing, man. Isn't that crazy? It's not giving me seeds. It's just refusing. Whatever, let me go into this fort here and kill some spiders. I think that'll be good use of my time. Need to kill a bunch of these and then also the queen. Right, get some more of them. Yeah, these are all my level now, which is nice. Kill a ton of these, man. I see the queen back there. Or at least she looks pretty big, and sure enough, it is. Let me throw this spear. I usually don't do this attack very often. It's very nice because it kind of stuns them for a bit. What's it called? 
ambush. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad of a skill. Okay. There's the queen. There's this door. Yeah, so I need a quest before I can actually use that. So we'll probably have to come back to it at some point. Alright, I need to kill Brood Watchers. There we go, there's one. Need four more of these. Okay, two more. Let's see if they're kind of here on the outside. That's just a regular spider. Not interested. I need the brood watchers. I think I kind of killed all the ones around here, so... They're not going to spawn for a while, I think. It's kind of unfortunate. I hate having to wait for things to spawn. But that's the nature of the business. I'm also kind of lagging here a little bit. I can't move right now. There we go. Free from the clutches of lag. And there is a brood watcher. Alright. And one more over here. Okay, excellent. Now we do need more seeds, and finally we also need to kill some sickle flies and some goblins. And of course I still need that one seed which refuses to drop from these guys, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, how many of these have I killed? Does it have to be a specific kind? Because I've been killing a lot of the green ones. So I don't know, maybe it has to be a specific one. There we go, finally. My god. Okay, let me go down here. And start looking for some sickle flies. And is this the other goblin camp, or is this the same one as before? Let's see. Sunken stones, exactly where I need to be. So I need to kill some goblins here. Perfect. And last one. Okay. So now it's just a matter of getting some of the sickle flies. Need two more wings, and then I'm going to turn in this giant chunk of quests, and I've actually been recording for quite a while. Over half an hour, so it's probably time I wrapped up this episode. I just kind of want to finish the quests before I do. If these things will drop the wings for me. I hate killing stuff and it doesn't drop what you need. It's always frustrating. Especially when you're overtime on your episode. It's the worst. Try to keep the episodes at 30 minutes. Obviously, it's impossible to keep it precisely at that. It's usually some variation of. Alright, these guys do not want to drop wings. Right, one more. Perfect. So let's go turn all of these in. And then we'll be good to go. Let me actually go... Yeah, let me go turn the ones in all the way over here. And then we'll call it an episode. Curious to see if we're going to get that quest to go inside that ruin. 
where the spider queen was. I can't really remember what that door was for from my previous playthroughs of this game. But it did say it was for a quest, so... We only need to find out. Alright, bunch of quests to turn in here. What you need? Good for you, Kippen. Without the Marsh Queen, it will be a long time before the spiders once again pose a threat to the town. Now that I am satisfied with the menace of the Midgewater Marshes, and it has been overcome, I'll lend a hand to Redweed with those goblins. If the beastly things come too near the town, I'll be sure to let you know, Kippen. If I gotta get a reward here. Hello there. Those wings are just the kind that sn Snickin likes. You saved me some trouble hunting down those greater sickle flies. Now, here's a treat for you. I'll give you a key to the chest over there. I put all my treasures I find in the marshes in there. Maybe you'll find something you like. And the next time you take a pleasant stroll through the marshes, uh, just stop by and say hello. Look what the nice folks brought you, Snickin. Here you go. Ouch, careful now, Snickin. You took my finger off. Damn it, Snickin. Okay, what did I get? Some junk. Just some junk. It's as I feared, Kippen. If the goblins have already spread as far throughout the Midgewater Marshes, they intend to stay. If it were not for the spider infestation at the ruins on the northern stretch of the marshes, I would expect the goblins to seize those as well. Look at that, finally leveled up the first time in so long. The increasing number of goblins in the Midgewater Marshes troubles me, true, but I am even more concerned about the weapons some of them appear to be yielding. Swords and axes are bad enough, but those strange oils some of those goblins carry is likely to do much greater damage. I am not thinking of the farms I'm not thinking only of the farms and crops of Staddle, though the threat of fire to food and pipeweed is immense. I am thinking of the little folk. The threat is beyond them, I think. The more of these fire wielding goblins that we can defeat in the marshes, the fear will remain to threaten Staddle. I need you to deal with them, and quickly. Okay. And we will do so. But we will do that in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video, and I'll catch you guys next time.